Hey, thanks for joining the channel. In this episode, we're going to review the Wild Game Innovation Feeder, the 225 pound model. So stay with us. Hi, this is Tim and Dole. Welcome to Midwest Hunting and Outdoors by Two Dumbasses, a podcast about the outdoors, hunting, and being a steward of the land. Hey, if you like what these two dumbasses are doing, please hit the like button and subscribe today. Okay, as you can see, I've already got this uh, feeder built. And, and in fact, um, I purchased this feeder seven years ago. It was one of the first first things I purchased and put on the new land that I purchased. Uh, and that's been over seven years ago. So um, it's been a good feeder for me in general. And uh, in fact, I went out and bought another one. So I've got two of these now and uh, I'm encouraged my brother he was in the market for a feeder and he purchased it. We're not sponsored by Wild Game or any feeders. Um, so uh, I'm just trying to give you an unbiased uh, review and opinion of this. But when you do unbox this, this uh, top part is going to come in three pieces. The bottom part, the top part, and then the lid. Um, it's really easy uh, to put together. It's just got push button, kind of like plastic rivets um, that hold it together. And then each leg section is uh, made out of one, two, three, four, five pieces with the fifth piece being uh, the most critical which uh, only fits into uh, the bottom of the of the feeder. So um, as you can see I um, have added an optional solar uh, solar panel on mine because when I charge the battery up uh, I want to put it in there and leave it uh, for the off season and uh, not have to mess with charging the battery again and that that's been uh, a pretty good deal and um, I've added this cage so we'll talk about the pros and cons uh, of this feeder here in a little bit but this cage is is definitely uh, one of the important options that I would encourage you to get so the feeder itself is uh, set up to hold uh, approximately 225 pounds of corn and um, it's the way it's programmed here, it's uh, set up with a, a six volt wire, six volt rechargeable battery with four programs. So that could mean you, uh, um, you know, you could feed up to four different times during the day. Um, it's not set up that you could uh, uh, feed on, you know, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, or just the weekends or whatever. It's a daily program and you got up to four programs to put on. I will uh, walk you through setting up that program uh, here in a little bit. But um, other than that, that's the, um, that's the feeder. Again, price-wise, I bought this on Amazon. Again, seven years ago, I think I paid $135 all in, delivered to my door. Uh, with the solar panel, with the battery, with the cage, and uh, the feeder. So that's, a, uh, I think that's a heck of a, a good price. I looked at this uh, same setup today, and it looks like on Amazon it's, it's somewhere between $100 and $115 just for the feeder. The solar panel runs uh, somewhere between $15 and $30 price range. And... Um, this cage unit here in the bottom is uh, somewhere between five and fifteen dollars so obviously everything goes up with inflation but um, you could you could probably get this whole unit as it stands right now for under 150 dollars easily and uh, probably pretty close to the 135 dollars that i spent seven years ago with that let's talk about the pros and cons of this feeder uh, pros are we talked about the price i don't i really don't think you're going to get a more reliable feeder for the price um, and for me anyway, 225 pounds is, uh, is about the right size. What I found is, is that um, for every uh, 10 seconds of feed time on this, it's about a pound and a half of corn is, is the rate that I use. So I use that rate to, uh, to you know, calculate how long I want each program to run and how much uh, feed I'm, I'm feeding the, uh, the deer um, in this case. So uh, that's, that's a big pro. Um, I really like the height on this. It's a pro and a con. Um, I like the options that you can get with this, like the cage and uh, the assembly and the way to put it together is, uh, was fantastic, really super simple. 
and um, it's extremely reliable. Like I said, I went out and purchased another one about two or three years ago, and this one's seven years old. Cons. If you have a solar panel or anything on the outside of this unit, um, I will guarantee you that the raccoons are going to crawl up these legs and they're going to reach their hand in here trying to get cord and, uh, corn and food. And when they do, they're going to hook the wire and rip it out. So um, find a way to protect this unit from deer and raccoons of coming up and spinning this and getting corn out when you don't want the program to run. That's a key piece. If it's this guard or, or something similar or homemade, um, you, you, in my mind, you have to have, you have, to have that. If you're going to add the solar panel, um, I would encourage you to run the cable underneath the brace here like I have. That way when uh, the raccoons uh, hook this or whatever, it's uh, sec secured um, with the feeder and then they're not pulling out wires. So, and even with that, um, you, you know, I've had some issues with, uh, with the raccoon pulling, pulling these uh, cables. It's just the nature of the beast. The other thing is, is uh, you've got to think through this and uh, decide how you're going to get your corn into the top here. With me, I've got my ATV with my corn. I pull up, I jump up on the uh, ATV, and then I muscle the bag of corn 50 pounds over my head and, and dump it in. So uh, I prefer not to do that, but um, if you lower it down, then the raccoons and deer can get to it. Um, I'm working on an idea here how to, how to do that because I don't want to be standing up there and I don't want to be lifting 50 pounds over my head um, as I get older and older. But uh, So that's something to think through and, and certainly with all feeders that have some height to it, an issue that you're going to have to deal with. Um, other than that, I guess the last thing uh, con-wise, and it's maybe uh, just a redesign, when you're assembling this, you can assemble it with one person. When you um, want to put it out, you can actually do it with one person, but what you're going to find is if you don't screw or attach these sections of legs together, what I've done is I've drilled and put screws in each one. So this leg is one piece and it won't come apart. If, uh, if, you're, if you don't do that, it's a jigsaw puzzle to get this elevated with the legs in one spot and you're holding the feeder and you got pieces of legs that are falling off. So I'd really encourage you to make, make life simple for yourself and make it easier to uh, assemble and de disassemble uh, when you're putting this feeder up and put screws in here to hold these leg assemblies in place so they don't fall apart. All right, to insert the battery, you're gonna open the cover. And um, again, I've got a solar, solar panel hooked up to this. So I've got two wires on each post. Um, if you don't have the solar panel, you're just going to have uh, one wire per post. But uh, I am going to, you just slide your, slide your battery in there and uh, connect your alligator clips. Um, and you're good to go. But let's walk, through the, let's walk through the programming here real quick. I hope you enjoyed the video. Again, we're not sponsored by this, just unbiased. I'm, I'm a fan of these um, feeders, the Wild Game Innovation uh, feeders. Uh, for the price, I, I haven't seen anything out there any better, and the simplicity and, and everything that comes with it. So 
Uh, if you're looking for a feeder, you know, this might be the one for you. Um, I would encourage you to get the solar, solar on it so you can charge your battery once a year and uh, keep it charged. Uh, that works out really well. But, um, you know, happy hunting. And until next time, be safe, have fun, and get outdoors. Thanks for listening or watching our show. We have some exciting topics and guests coming up. We ask that you subscribe to our channel on YouTube and follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. We look forward to hearing your suggestions for topics, questions, and comments. This is Two Dumbasses signing off. Until next time, be, be safe, safe, have, have fun, fun, and, and get, get outdoors. outdoors.